Where are you on your road to success? Are you embarking on a new journey? Have you been at it for years, struggling, wondering when and if all this work you've been doing will ever pay off? Or have you had success before and you're in a bit of a valley and you're wanting to taste that success again? Are you just a generally successful person who's continuing your meteoric rise to new heights previously unimagined? No matter where you are in the success cycle, I can tell you that there is an abundance of success out there waiting for you. If we look at a few examples from the business world, look at Apple. They are wildly successful, just had a fantastic year, beat expectations. People are thinking there is nothing they can do wrong. But 10 years ago that wasn't the case. After they came out with the Macintosh in 1984 and a few other very user-friendly operating systems, there was a big lull. They were definitely not the company they are today. Locally in Ottawa, Canada, there's a company called Mitel. It's a similar story. In the early 80s, they were the toast of the town. Everybody wanted a Mitel switch. Well, about eight or nine years ago, their semiconductor division decided they were going to go public and they didn't want any part of the Mitel brand. They split off from the company and went public on their own. Soon after that, Terry Matthews, one of the original founders, came back, revived the company, and now they're thriving again to very successful levels. So down does not mean out. One of the things I love about the internet is that I can watch quality television shows from around the world. One of the shows I've fallen in love with is called The X Factor, and it's televised in London, England, which is 2,000 miles and five time zones away from where I am. They have magnificently edited the show so they showcase the emotions of the human drama. They featured several emotional auditions, but the paths the different people have taken to get to the top 10 very widely. One of the people I like the most is Jamie Archer. And you can check it out on YouTube. We search for Jamie, J-A-M-I-E, Archer, A-R-C-H-E-R, -E X, space, factor, F-A-C-T-O-R, audition. The professional version is about six minutes long, so watch for that one. It's a great story of how he's been struggling for years, wondering if he is ever going to get the success he's been searching for. When Simon Cowell says, you know, Jamie, why do you think it hasn't happened yet? He says, I'm a musician, not a businessman. Absolutely brilliant. I've coached a lot of solopreneurs and business executives, and a lot of the, especially the solopreneurs, can say the same thing, but they don't. They can say, I'm a coach, not a businessman. I'm a software expert, not a businessman. I'm a financial advisor, not a businessman. Of course, they go through the roads and they make their success happen by becoming the businessman they want to be. Now getting back to the X Factor, top 10, alongside Jamie, who's been struggling for 15 years, are some very young people, 18 year olds who still live at home with their parents. Check out Lucy Jones or Joseph McKeldry. They're both 18, living in small towns, haven't struggled at all. I, undoubtedly they've worked hard. But their path to get to the top 10 of the X Factor has been widely different than this Jamie Archer fellow. Success can come at any age. Life is not fair. Business is not fair. You create your own luck. Wherever you are in your road to success, I wish you the best of luck. Keep pushing. Keep striving. Go the distance.